2846. Once again, free shipping and handling. It's always great to get free shipping and handling. I Absolutely. Like yeah. And four easy payments. Every item during the show, four easy payments, every item, free shipping and handling. Uh, M61807 is your item number for this. Uh, take advantage. It's the first day that we've actually brought this to you uh, on easy payments as well. And the price is going to go up at the end of the day. Wow. So if you're off and about now, chances are you might be sleeping later. So order it now and then you won't miss out. Yeah, re on. reserve Simple them for the summer. So reblooming daylilies. Now yes. obviously daylilies are a thing. Reblooming daylilies are a thing. Absolutely. But to get them with this kind of size of flower is once again that you unique that, Roberta's difference. That's right, that's oh. right. I mean, daylilies are I would like to say the heart and soul of the American garden. We all love daylilies here. You see them, you know, along the highways in the medians of the road because, and we love to have them in our gardens because they bring such beauty with little to no maintenance. You That's almost good. don't need to do anything for daylilies. Okay, perfect. But with that said, it's hard to find daylilies that are different than your next door neighbors right. because, you know, you go to the big box stores and they kind of offer the same thing. Okay. We love daylilies at Roberta's. They're one of our most favorites. I love them. And we have really great relationships with our growers and breeders who have been bringing us daylilies for many, many years. And I was so excited with this island series. This is actually brand new this, this season at QVC. Mm -hmm. We have never brought these varieties before. And as you were saying, these are re-blooming and the flower sizes and the colors are so beautiful and unique. The colors are so pretty. They're, they're I striking. I mean, the three colors that you've got here. Let, well, let's talk through the different varieties then. So we have yeah. the, uh, uh, the Supelo Island. We have the Supelo, Supelo Island, <laughs> okay. is how I would say it. Um, <laughs> and that's right here in the front. It's that carmine uh, petal with the chartreuse throat that you're, that you're seeing up there. And then in front of you, Anthony, is a St. Catherine's Island. This is, I think every garden needs just a bright, cheery yellow flower because it Puts just kind of- Puts a smile on your face. Absolutely. And that's what this St. Catherine's does. And it's actually um, a fragrant reblooming daylily. So two okay. out of the three varieties you see here are fragrant, which is okay. extremely hard to find. Okay. And then in front of me is the Wausau Island, which I think is my favorite. I love anything orange and coral. And so this is just a beautiful coral orange tangerine flower also slightly fragrant and together i mean you have this collection in your garden you're going to have a hot summer garden and they the difference between these and maybe other rebloomers that reblooming daylilies that you're used to is that these are going to give up to four months of color wow. which is almost twice as long as most daylilies think about that four yeah. months of incredible vibrant color in your garden whether it's the wonderful yellow um, the uh, the multicolor, the pink and the yellow at the front. Yeah, that's right. Um, and the wasa in front of me. Exactly, yeah, with that, that, that orange coral shade. I'd so, love to see them in the garden just to give really the, an idea of where to plant them and to see their true beauty like planted in the, in the yard. If we could go through those lifestyle images um, just to give a better idea of what these, are, what these will look like. Okay, well we can uh, bring those pictures back again yeah. for you. And then uh, once we've done that, uh, we'll talk about how you uh, look after these and what you do with them once you actually Absolutely. get them. Absolutely. So look at that. And what you're fields seeing here, Holland. these are the fields in Holland. You know, we travel um, to Holland or to Europe to look at all of our plants. You know, we get our plants from breeders across the world and we go and we see them. And here you see just um, sort of a mass planting. That's one of my favorite ways to see daylilies. A little story about my own childhood with daylilies. My parents had probably a 20 square foot just mass planting of daylilies at the top of our driveway close to the front, um, close to the street, excuse me. Our hose couldn't reach there. You don't need to water daylilies. They will, you know, sustain on just mother nature's water. They're so drought tolerant that you couldn't, these are very hard to kill, I would love to say, because they are such an easy and um, durable, dependable plant. And you see St. Catherine Island. This is the most fragrant out of the three um, daylilies. Two out of three are gonna have a, a slight fragrance is so hard to find in a daylily and it's those creamy yellow petals with the white streak down the middle and then what you're about to see is the Wausau Island with the elegant fringed petals that coral color and then that deep um, yellow center that eye what sort of sunshine do we need with these guys the more sun the better okay. so put these you know like I was saying in a hot dry area that your hose maybe won't reach okay Poor soil, it doesn't matter. Daily, daylilies will thrive almost anywhere that you put them. And that's why we love them in our, in our garden because they bring such beauty with such ease and grace. Now, obviously the, these are perennials. Um, do we need to do anything kind of around winter time? Do we need to cut them back or? <laughs> no, absolutely not. These are one of the lowest maintenance plants. You know, you're going to have beautiful flowers for up to four months. And then at the time when the flowers to go 
to go away. You know, the foliage will just go on, go on on its own. And then these will come back bigger and stronger year after year. And I wanted to just, we were talking about daylilies mm -hmm. that we all know yeah. and love. I wanted to just, you know, give a little comparison to what you might be used to seeing at your big box stores when you go and you- And what I was used to growing, not what your mom and dad grew. No, my parents this is what, the good Show her the, what I'm used to yes, growing. Yes, absolutely. So and I hated daylilies because of that. Look at them. Yeah, I mean, this oh. is the Stelladoro. And it's pretty, we're all used to seeing it. It's kind of a classic flower. And this is what you'll most likely be, you know, given if you go to a big box store and you ask for a re-blooming daylily. And it's single petal, just yellow. Then when you put that next to one of these Wausau Island wow. series daylilies. There's I mean, no comparison, There's no really? comparison. I mean, this is a six inch flower. This is maybe three. These are just bold, bright, beautiful colors instead of just you know, I like to say a little yellow flower. It's like when you go to a high school reunion yeah. and uh, you, you see someone that uh, you, you may have been friends with, but when you see him again, they're like, oh my God, I just fell in love. You know, <laughs> because yeah. now I love daylilies right. because of these large, fragrant. Before, I thought they were just a nuisance plant. You see them on the side of the road. Yep. Yeah, they're easy because you can run over them with your car. You can run over them with a lawnmower and they just keep coming back. Poor soil, rocky soil. Let's talk about how these actually arrive. Absolutely. Let's, let's do that. So go. this is um, a daylily root. You know, some people might be like, what? what in the world is that? But this is actually a really healthy, beautiful root that you're seeing see here. See the two eyes These here. are the two eyes, and that just means, you know, these are each going to have their own um, scapes or the stems of the daylilies. And these are all beautiful, healthy roots. And so my Uncle Court's going to dig me oh, a hole. First, oh. let's water the soil. Whether now, it's is that water or is that food? At this point, it's just, just water. water. Just water. Yeah, okay. You don't want to feed your roots until you start to see sprouts. There's actually. really no reason to. Okay. It's sort of yeah. a waste. Yep. Okay. So you're going to just nestle this in and, you know, you don't need to be dainty with your daylilies. They can take, you know, some aggression if you want to just okay. nestle it in there. So we leave it because I'm not particularly dainty. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> but you want to make sure to keep the eyes and the crown above soil. Gotcha. And then water it in again. Yep. And again, these pretty much grow anywhere. Once established, they're very drought tolerant. They will take hot, full sun. Yeah, the but sun. They can take a half a day sun Absolutely. too. Absolutely, that's yeah. true. Um, would we grow these in pots or in the ground? Well, if you have the space in your yard, I would highly recommend picking up multiple sets and doing a mass planting along kind of the backyard or your back fence. Okay. But if you don't have a yard, they look beautiful in containers and pots. As you see here, yeah, aren't the they? foliage is so beautiful. It kind of flows over and then you have these really just striking pops of color on these stems. Now, how would this look next year, Bliss Hammock, with a nice tropical drink nice. when we're coming after mountain climbing with you. Which, <laughs> by the way, I don't do. That sounds like a good summer afternoon. My body is aching so badly, <laughs> you cannot imagine right now. Anyway, 28.46 is the price on this M61807. Uh, four easy payments Thanks, on 712. Thanks so uh, And we've also got free shipping and handling with that as well. Very nice indeed. All right. Thank you very much, Steph. Very good. <clears throat> now, coming up in the show, we have a fig tree. 